Hello everyone, I'm Maria. Welcome back to Kinkunsan Classroom. Firstly, please allow me to introduce a new friend, Ms. Chi Bing. She has been working in the registration department of Kinkunsan for more than 11 years. Hello, Chi Bing. Please say hello to everybody in the classroom. Thank you, Maria. Hello, everyone. I'm Chi Bing from Kinkunsan. Raya, today I come here with a question about the insects. Oh, that's good. Would you like to answer the question and solve the problem? Please tell me your question. As I know, in our classroom, we have talked about many kinds of laboratory insects and how to control them. Till now, we already got lots of feedbacks from many different countries. Meanwhile, we also receive many questions. One question says that it's very confused to identify pests because sometimes call them the soaking pest or the chain pest. Sometimes call them Naptoptery, Homoptery, Diptery or Coniopteri. It's too hard to understand what's the difference among them, so ask us for help. Raya, could you please explain more details based on his question? Sure, Shibin, I'd like to. Firstly, let's talk about the thing from Lepidoptera. Because everyone is familiar with Lepidoptera in the classroom now. Lepidoptera is the order of insects. So what's the order? To classify insects, scientists have separated them into about 30 groups called orders. The representatives of an order are related based on the shape of their body, their legs, their mouth part, and especially their wings. Here we listed five major orders of insects, which comprise 80% of insect species. Number one, beetles, belongs to Coleoptera with shears wings. Number two, Mouse and butterflies belong to Lepidoptera with scaling wings. Number three, bees, wives, ants belong to Hymenoptera with membrane winged. Number four, flies, mosquitoes, gnats belong to Diptera with two wings. Number five, crickets, grasshoppers, locusters belong to Osoptera with straight wings. So, Shubin, have you got more clear understanding about insects orders now? Yes, Raya. Thank you very much. Insect orders are very clear now. Okay, great. Let's continue to talk about the stocking pest and the chewing pest. It's another classification method of the pest. The main difference between the stocking pest and the chewing pest is the mouth part. These two kinds of pests are very destructive for various crops. They have a direct impact on agricultural food production by chewing the leaves of crops, sucking out plant juices, burying with the, in the roots, stems, leaves or fruits, and spreading plant pathogens. Let's look at this picture. Shibin, can you identify these two amount parts? Okay, Ruya, let me try. From the name, the first one is the soaking mouse part. The second one is the chewing mouse part. Am I right? Yes, you are right. There are two major mouse parts. One is the soaking mouse part, another is chewing mouse part. From the mouse parts, we identify the pies much easier than the others. From the picture, we can see soaking mouse parts have the slender needle-like stylets to pairs the plant cell and the sucking up plant cell, and the fluid inside cells. The typical pest with sucking mouse part include aphids, leaf hoppers, thrips, white fly, flies, bugs, and mats. Tree mouse part have the sharp, powerful mandibles to cut and chewing solid food, such as leaves, stems, seeds, or other insects. The typical pests with chewing mouse part include caterpillars, beetles, grasshoppers, crickets, ants, cockroaches, and earwigs. Thanks, Raya. 
Now I can identify most species of pests based on the mouse parts and the orders. People also ask how to control them in a fast way. Could you please give some suggestions? Sure. If pest infestation is not very high, pest control in a professional and scientific way is necessary. Firstly, we shall pay attention to the pest monitoring, cultural control, and natural enemies control, which we talked about so many times in previous classes. So today, we will now introduce more details. Meanwhile, we can choose bio-insecticides such as Bt products or azadirectin products. If pest infestation is high, then we need a fast control by insecticides. Today, we give general control method for the sucking and chewing pests. For the sucking pest, the only carotenoid insecticides are recommended, such as acetamprate, imidacloprid, dinotyphorin, cyamethoxin, and colocinidine. For the chewing pest, also have some effective insecticides, such as ibamacin benzoate, chlorantraniliprol, defluibenzoin, hexfluorine, rufnurin, maxfenoxate, and so on. But there is a kind of special pest that belongs to the sucking pest, but cannot control by common insecticides. It's spadomate. When we control it, we shall choose a curry size such as bifenazate, etoxidone, fepidroximate, hesycerodox, pyridabine, and so on. For broad spectrum and effective control, mixture products are highly recommended. Mixtures also can delay the resistance happening, saving the labor and cost, reduce the residues of insecticides. Thank you, Raya. All right, then, this is all for today. Hope this video can help you have a new understanding of the different pests in the following classes. We will focus on talking about the stalking pests and how to control them. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any more questions regarding to the pest control, please leave us a message down here below in the comment zone. And King Kuen Sang will try to provide you with more information regarding to the pesticide industry and the pest control. King Kuen Sang, focus on your harvest. harvest.